name is John Wanoa. Uh, I'm here uh, on the east coast of the North Island, New Zealand. And uh, this is the uh, Portiki Rua uh, Road uh, around the corner from Rotten Point. And uh, we're just recording uh, some of the um, um, uh, kaupapa, uh, the hui we had, the meeting on Port Takamurai. Uh, just to um, let you know where uh, we are going to be doing the um, Moai Tidal Energy Project here up onto the um, Rokumura Range or Rokumura um, Basin of our um, uh, ancestral lands here on, the, on these land blocks and uh, it's been talking to the local Komatua uh, and also to uh, one of the landowners here at Matakino, uh, Wainga, uh, and um, um, uh, her, her husband, uh, Graham uh, Smith. Now, I'm here with my uh, Komatua uh, upper um, Arapeta uh, to, uh, to do this, um, to do this hui. Uh, and so, we are just uh, determining uh, the titles to the seabed and foreshore uh, connecting to the land of our tūpunas. Uh, in this case, our uh, uetaha uh, tūpuna, wānoa, uh, connecting to uh, Moai uh, statue and our patent rights uh, to these Polynesian lands and the seabed here in the uh, Pacific boundary area of the Ring of Fire. Uh, it is quite rough, uh, the seas today, um, and we are just um, finishing off our, our meeting uh, before we head back to Auckland and put our um, information together, uh, which will go on our website, uh, the videos and the um, meeting on the marae and our um, uh, customary uh, titles and uh, to these lands. Uh, we are determining uh, for the first time uh, history in its um, original state uh, with the um, certific certificate of titles, the crown titles, uh, which we are mirroring around our uh, customary titles. Uh, we will no longer require uh, the rule of law of the crown, but we are Moai crown uh, and stamping our own authority, sovereignty, of these lands under the um, uh, Maori Confederation flag and also under the uh, Pacific uh, Ngātu uh, spiritual Ring of Fire boundary area of our claim uh, that um, we have uh, now established at Waitangi, Iti Marae and uh, the chief there, Kingi Taurua and uh, Ngāti Rahiri and also their Tomata. We have our new um, marae to go up here with the local uh, hapu whānau and uh, they have given us permission uh, to go ahead uh, legally, lawfully uh, with this Moai Tidal Energy uh, power project here in the Rokumara Range seabed I'm pointing to here on the east Bear Plenty region uh, and um, to our left here from the shore is White Island and to the East Cape to the right around the corner where the Marangaro land blocks are uh, of my own uh, land uh, connecting to these Rokumana range here so uh, this is um, our um, affidavit uh, verbal, written into law of this land, this country, ahead of, of um, the Crown and our Polynesian origin. Uh, now I say this uh, in all true and honesty that uh, will prevail in the uh, Tikanga Moai law uh, and over the uh, Moai uh, lands, uh, superseding the Maori, the Maori titles. Uh, to the land with the crown, which are 
are more than likely, more than are, corrupted and fraudulent. No end date, uh, perpetual title. Now, perpetual title means there's no end date, which is illegal, and has to be uh, superseded by the legal title, which is we hold here on the east of these uh, islands at um, Tipito, uh, Sun God Ra, to the east, that way. And Rokumara Range, that way, to Uetaha, and Rua Waipu on the left of the east, and also to our Uetaha, uh, Tupuna, and Rungumaitabui, the wife of Uetaha. So those are the two uh, main marais with this new marae we're putting up uh, to Tupaya, Tupuna, and that's the Wainga Pano, uh, um, uh, which is what we're standing on their land and force all CV now. I make this quite clear statement of claim uh, ahead of these titles we are investigating. I'm uh, a historian for my Polynesian titles, the founders of this country. Uh, New Zealand, Aotea, Ngātua e wā Aotea. Uh, and Aotea being here uh, with uh, the Moriori and also with Moai, uh, the Wānoa people, from Rapa Nui to Mokonui, uh, Urupa. And so we are establishing uh, and um, investigating the titles of uh, Lynn's Land Information New Zealand, Crown, titles from England versus uh, the Moai Crown and against the Queen Crown of England. I just say to you today that the Queen is alien with everyone who is signing documents that have no end date contracts uh, with um, the um, uh, Crown Monarchy, uh, which is under question now and being investigated by the rest of the world. Our um, information and all this um, affidavit must be rebutted by Wednesday this week, uh, 21 days. Uh, uh, you have the opportunity to uh, rebut and challenge <coughs> what we're putting down today as the true uh, customary title to this foreshore seabed, the Rokumara Range, all the way up through to Tonga, Samoa, 3,000 miles that way, and also to Tahiti. Hawaii and uh, across to uh, uh, Rapa Nui and uh, to uh, Rarotonga, Samoa, Papua New Guinea and also to Fiji. Those are included in the 27 states of the Pacific countries uh, attached to the 20 to the um, 59 uh, states of the uh, Treaty Trading Accord International um, Confederation which uh, the Maori uh, Confederation Government uh, is part of that treaty. Those cover the territory areas and the seabed here on these customary titles I'm doing today. And yesterday, uh, hui, on the 19th of June 2011, <coughs> uh, hui, we held for the local people to come along and their tūpunas were all there with us. Uh, they gave us their uh, unanimous uh, consent to go ahead with this um, Moai Tidal Energy Project for the uh, liquid hydrogen jet fuel, the uh, hydrogen uh, uh, gold, bullion currency, uh, trading uh, money, currency to uh, those 59 states, international. This with the seabed, the land under the sea, is stuck to the land over here to all those other uh, colonies and, and Melanesian, Micronesian countries. Right, so I'm just saying today, on a beautiful day, you can't dive in the water like that because it's rough, so we'll just come back again, go away and investigate Porikahika A1 block, which um, um, the uh, TerraLink company and Zulu International um, Advertising Company for real estate selling of these lands on Portikirio Road, which is where we are we are going to settle ourselves and being given permission to do what we do from the local uh, original.
native owner of the land today. So I say uh, to those people, those trustee owners of that uh, A1 for a Kahika block, that we are going to contest your title in the Supreme Court, which is the Queen's Court in Wellington, which is really Maori land uh, material. And, uh, and so they have to prove to us who they are and how they become to be owners of the land we say we are. My Wanoa family is behind this block of land on the Rokumara Range on the Pakangyangi blocks of Mataru Wanoa and Uataha uh, Tukuna, the spiritual uh, Wanoa people from Rapanui to Mokanui, Urupa uh, on my land blocks. So that's the connection to the Waingas here and Tupaya, Tupunas, and cannot be judged or challenged on any other history uh, we're doing. Matakino uh, Smith, uh, Wainga, is the historian for the local hapu here, and I'm the historian for Moai, legally, and binding on us uh, mana whenua, uh, to these lands and that I want to uh, uh, make public and international know uh, through the Confederation at Waitangi uh, to um, approve this uh, investigation for every block of land in New Zealand and every title, the Crown title, and every grant from the Crown in England uh, over and above the sea and below the sea land, uh, which they have got title on. Uh, against the Moai uh, sovereign state country. Now, our um, uh, Tidal Energy, Energy Bridge is a, a separate sovereign state government out on the sea, about 20 miles out, 20k out, and the uh, shareholders in the company uh, that buy into it are uh, uh, part and ownership of that um, company and also that sovereign state with its legs inside and plant it in the seabed area of the locomotive range. The Crown is trying to make title. It can't get past us, uh, as it has no uh, affidavit yet uh, rebutted uh, against ours. So they have 21 days from Wednesday this week, 19, 20, 21, 22nd, 4 o'clock, 21 days after that, to rebut this claim I'm making uh, over our land blocks, and if they don't and be silent, we'll accept their silence as agreeing that we are mana whenua, sovereign rulers, uh, international uh, owners, land owners, uh, trading company, Ngātu Ewa Aotea Limited, under the Ngātu Ewa Sovereign State Government of Aotearoa, New Zealand. So, uh, in closing, uh, I uh, just want to um, let you know we'll be back here to film uh, this area of the, um, the sea and the land uh, with more information after we return uh, back with a mandate from Titi Marai, Chief King Itaurua, and his, um, his uh, people. And that uh, goes to the uh, Government of England, straight to the hapu, uh, to enforce our laws of the land, we're using Moai state law uh, and not the Maori tikanga law which is corrupted. Uh, that I make a quite, uh, quite true uh, statement today of claim and uh, I wish um, uh, the best for these people here <coughs> on this land uh, who have been fighting for 170 years of suppression and control from England. No longer required. Uh, the Governor General, we uh, sat at Waitangi on the 4th of uh, February 2011 with Sue Nakora, Prime Minister <coughs> of the Māori um, Confederation and Māori Government, in front of the Governor General and Anne Sutton told him pack his bags, pack his loads, and go. It meant he was sacked from then on, and I was the one that put the um, proclamations in front of him, and uh, that took over two hours duration uh, to uh, proclaim our, our sovereign state back under the uh, 1835 Declaration of Independence flag, sovereign. 
and removal of the Treaty of Waitangi 1840, document of immigration, and also it was illegal no end date contract that has now been extinguished. And uh, the, the 1835 uh, declaration is a um, extent and um, binding contract uh, with uh, King William the fourth and now in the future King William the fifth Prince William that if he took uh, his that position as King uh, William the fifth we would use our own Polynesian uh, DNA Moai sovereign state government flag that's planted in the seabed here back to this land from outside to inside the land rather than from the land that way because the land has been uh, fabricated and it has been corrupt uh, with the land title. So we are converting the, um, the freehold Maori land titles, the six statuses of title, back to customary title and giving it value. I must say that the tidal energy bridge uh, that measures 200, 200 metres long by 40 metres wide by over 100 metres deep, that is our sovereign authority over these lands and the valuation of that is going to annul the valuation of trying to sell the land here on this Portikiri Road. There's seven blocks of land for sale that the local people and the hapu don't know about. That terribly New Zealand Real Estate Institute company up in uh, Parnell, Auckland, is selling these lands on the internet globally without their knowledge. And I've just brought the news to them at the hui yesterday and to the local people today, the mana whenua, that they didn't know about. So we are more concerned now with valuing up the seabed uh, resources of the tidal energy project against the land to cover all that valuation on the land. And those figures will be on uh, my website uh, when we get back to Auckland uh, to publish what has happened here and, uh, and video. And so, um, so, yes, yes, so, finish.